Welcome, young Shepherd. It has been some time, Shepherd Wardell. Indeed it has, Lila. Is this Seraph a Shepherd? I was several hundred years ago. So just like Exio, huh? Enough chit-chat. This isn't what we're here for. I assumed as much. Young Seraph of Wind. Dezel. Dezel, this tower in and of itself constitutes the trial. In other words, once you reach its top, you have cleared it. The rest depends on how I feel about you then. Sounds like there's a catch. I bet it has something to do with the sacrifices and the hellion we met at the entrance. Hmm. A sharp observation indeed. Now then, head on up to the platform at the top. There shall I see your metal for myself, O oh young shepherd and his friends. Someone's there. Where's that headless hellion? Hang on! Get away from me! Why are you looking to make a sacrifice of yourself? I have to die. There's no other way. I killed someone. The man who was exploiting my family. For that reason, people who didn't even know us would curse at our family, throw rocks at us. I only did what I did to preserve my family's happiness. But it's brought nothing but more pain. The legends say that if I throw myself from here as a sacrifice to the gods, then I might have a chance of absolving myself and of restoring my honor. It is my only hope for salvation. If the prospect of life promises nothing but suffering, then better I die. Enough. Let her go, Saray. What? She regrets dirtying her hands for the sake of her family. Seeking restoration of her honor. All she wants is someone's approval. She doesn't even think that she's to blame. What's gotten into you, Dezel? Nothing. A Hellion's domain! for me this time? Let's leave it to them, Edna. Dessel? You want to die? Then why are you hanging on so tight? Plenty of times when I've wondered if I truly did the right thing. We all have. That feeling of loneliness, it can drive you crazy. But the idea that sacrificing yourself will erase your sins, it's a fallacy. 
Killing yourself means nothing to the Seraphim. But I... You worked so hard to protect your family. Do you want to leave them all alone? For the sake of a sacrifice that has no meaning at all? <laughs> I don't... I don't want to die. <laughs> Keep struggling. That's the fate of all with blood on their hands. I know I sound pretentious, but my friends tell me I need to stop trying to bear everything by myself, too. We all need our families. If you work together, I'm sure you'll find some way out. I'll try. But your trial is not over. That's right! We still gotta stop him! So this is what became of all those sacrifices. A warped idol, born of a warped religion. You're gonna be alright. Can you stand up? Um... Are you the... The Shepherd? I'm called Saray. Then are the gods... I mean... Are the Seraphim with you? Yes, a Wind Seraph accompanying me named Dezel is the one that saved your life. Hey, keep me out of this. Oh, thank you so much, Seraph Dezel. Really, truly, thank you, thank you. I, I promise that I will live bravely from now on. I'll look in my soul and find a way to believe in myself. <laughs> Aw, he's embarrassed. We still have a bit more business here. Think you can get back down by yourself? Yes, I'll be fine. I'll have someone from the Frontier Patrol take me back to town. Yeah, good idea. Somehow it all worked out. You have shown me not only your strength, but your spirit and bonds as well. You are more than qualified to receive the spiritual power of wind. You speak of spirit? Bonds? <laughs> Surely you have noticed, Dezel, that which is attached to your being at this very moment. It is not something that you should deny. You felt the voices of your companions, and acted of your own will, without any need for words. Are we done with this yet? Get it over with. Do you have something against developing true friendships? Why? There's something very important that I have to do. You should have picked up on that by now. And it is with true friendship that many obstacles may be surmounted. That you have reached this shrine, overcome the trial, and now stand here at this very altar serves as testament of that fact. <sighs> now then, let us offer a prayer. To the young Wind Seraph, and also to the young Shepherd. 
What awaits you on the path ahead, none can say. Heartbreak, redemption, endless possibilities. Never lose the guiding light that will lead you safely to the end of your journey. Yes. Light, huh? So then, Shepherd Soray, may the light shine always on your journey. Thank you, Wardell. How you feeling? Okay? Yeah. Hmm? I just wanted to thank you. Huh? Dazzle, you mustn't push yourself too hard. <sighs> Hey, at least you got to do something out there. There's no need to stay here. Let's go. <sighs> Are you all right? The power isn't affecting you, is it? I'm fine, but thanks for worrying about me. We've obtained all four spiritual powers. Think we're ready for Heldolf? Well... No way to tell until we try, right? Yeah, but first, we gotta track him down. How? He hasn't exactly been mailing us postcards. We know where he was. Why not start there? A battlefield. Works for me.
I guess something like this is right. Delivery confirmed. You Sparrow Feathers definitely know how to secure quality goods. Now, about our next order. Sorry, but something else has come up, actually. We hope to do business with you again, though. Felice, Talfrin. Boss, what perfect timing. Work? Yeah, we got... Hey! We got something we should discuss elsewhere. Come on over here. All right. We were approached by a secretary from the Rolands government. It looks like a job offer. What? Is this secretary the steward to the Emperor? That's right. Plus, we got some juicy info, too. It seems that the Queen of Rolands is making moves to adopt the child of her late brother. Interesting. The current Emperor is the son of the previous one, but the Queen wasn't the mother. Right. And she once conspired with her own son in an attempt to shift the line of succession to him. You remember how that all worked out. You can bet the Secretary hasn't forgotten either. Sounds fine. I'll handle it. You're taking the job? You realize this client is our sworn enemy! Remember the creed of the Scattered Bones. If the job itself is a necessary one, it doesn't matter who the client is. That's what we stand for, isn't it? I suppose it is. Gosh, boss. I don't know what we'd do without you. And that's why I'm the boss. <laughs> anyway, how should we approach the client? We'll sneak into Pendrago Castle. Seriously? The client's probably too skittish to come meet with us personally, and a proxy won't do at all. I need to judge the client for myself. Got it. If we're headed for the castle, I better call up everyone. Don't worry. I'm going with her. There's some things a shepherd can't ignore. Huh? You sure? Is this okay, boss? Rose, it's looking like the Imperial family has somehow gotten mixed up with Hellions. We should go by ourselves. Talfrin. Felice, we'll go by ourselves. It'll be easier to get around that way. All right. Take care out there, boss. Saray, you watch over our boss now, you hear? Will do. I feel kind of guilty, getting you all wrapped up in the affairs of the Scattered Bones. It's really okay. I should be there for you. All the more so if Hellions might be involved. Finally, it's time. Let's get going to Pendrago. Dazzle. You're really going through with this? Better late than never. What's this about? You don't need to know. Oh, come on! Just tell me! Hey, cut it out! Get the hell off me! What an adorable couple. Hey, can it, Pixie? Let's get moving. Dazzle, are there really Hellions in the Roland's Imperial family? You're slow to catch on. Go see for yourself. Hey. Yes, Saray. I know. It's cool, guys. I love being kept in the dark. Sorry. I promise, just a little bit longer and we'll be able to explain. All right, if you say so.
Savid! Somehow I'm guessing this ain't a coincidence. Just a word of friendly advice. Leave your opponent this time to me. Don't mess with me, Zavid. I'm not messing with you, especially not now. You can listen to me or not, your choice. But I'm handling this either way. Like hell! Fair enough, Dezel. But just so you know, there's two people left that I've still got a score to settle with. And I didn't save these last two shots of mine, just to throw them away. What are you even talking about? Mickey boy, when a man says he means business, he means business. Don't ever forget that! <laughs> Now! Come at me! It's on! This is ridiculous! Too late now! Here it goes! Attack! No, I'm not letting an ass like you interfere with my plans! Gonna have to beat this ass first before you can say that! Soren, I'm handling this! Don't you dare try to keep me out! What a fluke! this than you used to be. Hey, if you can't stop this fool from killing the Hellions, then try using this. Its power can stop malevolence from binding with people. Got it. I'll give you my very last shot. You can pay me back later. Why do this? <laughs> Hell if I know. Go on ahead. Zavid needs a nap. Some of us are low on health. This thing sure is weird. Is that the thing Zavid gave you? He said that it's a tool that shoots out power. Yeah, and that's how he gets power to oppose the malevolence. So if you shoot yourself, you gain more power. If you shoot someone with it, you sever their ties with the malevolence. So it's kind of like a bow that only fires arrows of pure energy. Is that it? These bullets have that kind of power? Presumably. And this is the last one, huh? Looks like it. Assuming we can't figure out how to make more. How about we take it apart and see if we can... No way. I know, I know. We probably wouldn't know how to put it back together if we did that. We need to treat it with care. It's obviously valuable. An arrow of force. 